Are you wanting to get into auto racing? Maybe you're just looking to do autocross on the weekends, but you have a limited budget and you don't know what car to go with. I'm going to help you figure out which car you want to hit the track with by giving you my top 5 favorite entry level race cars. I'm starting off this list with the E46 BMW. This one is pretty recognizable due to the Need for Speed Most Wanted game, at least for millennials like me. The E46 is an easy one to drive, pretty forgiving, and has plenty of power if you want to go fast. You can also pick these up for as low as $2,000 if you don't mind using a convertible. The parts themselves to get them track ready are a little bit pricier, but you are starting off with a cheaper platform, and it is a European car. If you're into front wheel drive, I got you covered. I think the Hondas have gotten a bad rap over the years for being these cheap, riced out, coffee can sounding rust buckets. However, the Civic EG hatchback are great for track days. You can pick up a decent one for as low as $1,000, and because there are so many tuners on the market, you will have no problem finding any part that you're looking for. This is probably my most favorite on the list and is starting to get a little bit pricier, but I'm putting it here anyway. It's the Porsche 944. No, not the turbo, the base model. While the prices tend to fluctuate quite a bit, they tend to stay between $3,000 and $6,000 for a running example. They have a near 50-50 weight distribution, and Lindsay Racing provides tons of parts to make sure you're PCA compliant. For a Porsche, it's super easy to work on and has plenty of resources to get it track ready. Not to mention the extensive community that you can find on Renlist. If you're enjoying this list so far, please drop the clutch on the subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. The 350Z is the drift successor to the 240SX. While it might be geared towards drifting, road racing and autocross are equally as lethal. You could pick up one of these for about 6k, but you really don't need to modify it that much for the track. Getting this to take corners at high speeds is a pretty easy task, especially since it comes with very wide rear tires to begin with. Before I hit the number one, we do have an honorable mention. It is the Ford Mustang. Yes, they seem to crash more than they drive, but you can get an early 80s Fox body style all the way up to the mid-2000 model for under $5,000. It only takes about $1,000 to get a set of coilovers in there to change the driving characteristics, that way you're not constantly hitting a wall. Not to mention the endless supply of engine upgrades, if you want more power out of them, you can get that relatively cheap. Since it has a longer wheelbase, doing autocross probably isn't the best idea, but there are series like the Trans Am series that you can enter and really get that track time in. And our top spot on this list, if you haven't guessed it by now, it is the Mazda Miata. It was only fitting because it is the number one race car in the entire world. It has a small wheelbase, so autocross is a breeze. It has numerous spec classes, and the community there is always looking to help fellow drivers hone their skills and give great advice on their builds. Their lowest price points are around $3,500 for an early 90s model, but even being 30 years old, you won't leave the track with a frown on your face after taking these for a few laps. There are plenty of parts to upgrade your Miata, from suspension to engine, you'll find anything anywhere, because this car is everywhere. 